What's going on, everybody? My name is Caleb. This is Art. You are fearfully wonderful. Made it today. It's time for you to change the world. Change the world. All right. So today we're going to do the book of Proverbs. Going to do the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 28. Proverbs chapter 28. This is what it says. It says, the wicked flee when no man is pursuing, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. For the, for the transgression of a land, many are princes thereof. But by a man of understanding and knowledge, the state thereof shall be prolonged. A poor man that oppresseth the poor is like a sweeping rain which leaveth no food. They that forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with them. Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. Better is the poor that walk up in his uprightness than he that is perverse in his ways, though he be rich. Whoso keep the, keepeth the law is a wise son. But he that is a companion of righteous men, shame of his father. He that by usury and unjust gain increases his substance, he shall gather it for him that will pity the poor. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. Whoso causes the righteous to go astray in an evil way, he shall fall himself into his own pit. But the upright shall have good things in possession. The rich man is wise in his own conceit, but the poor that have understanding search it out. When righteous men do rejoice, there is great glory. But when the wicked rise, a man is hidden. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. But whosoever confesseth, whoso, whoso confesseth and forsake them shall have mercy. Happy is the man that feareth alway. But he that hardeneth his heart shall fall into mischief. As a roaring lion and a ranging bear, so is a wicked ruler over the poor people. The prince that one of understanding is also a great oppressor, but he that hateth covetousness shall prolong his days. A man that doth wicked to the blood of any person shall flee into to the pit. Let no man stay him. Whoso walketh uprightly shall be saved, but he that is perverse in his way shall fall at once. He that tilleth his land shall have plenty of bread, but he that falleth after vain persons shall have poverty enough. A faithful man shall abound with blessing, but he that maketh haste to be rich shall not be innocent. To have respect of persons is not good, for for a piece of bread that man will transgress. He that hasteth to the rich shall have an evil eye, and not and considereth not the poverty shall come upon him. He that rebuketh a man afterwards shall find more favor than he that flattereth his tongue. Whoso robbeth his father or his mother, and saith, It is no transgression, the same come is the companion of a destroyer. He that is of a proud heart serve of strife, but he that trusteth his put his trust in the Lord shall be made fat. He that trusteth, trusteth in his own heart is a fool, but whoso walketh wisely, he shall be delivered. He that giveth to the poor shall not lack, but he that hideth his eyes shall have many a curse. When the wicked rise, men hide themselves, but when they perish, the righteous increase. So um, in Proverbs chapter 28, the first thing that starts off with this, it talks about the wicked run away when no one is uh, chasing after them. I remember one time when I was in high school, uh, there was a situation and my friends and I, we were hanging out and we weren't doing anything wrong. And we weren't even doing, we weren't even where we weren't supposed to be. Like everything we were doing was, was legally okay. It was legally okay. It was school okay. Uh, all that stuff. And uh, the police rolled by us. And my friends were all like, "Hey, let's let's all uh, let's all do this and do that." And one of my other friends was like, "Why are we? Why are you guys? Do you guys have something to hide? We're not doing anything wrong. We're just hanging out. There's nothing that we are doing that is adverse. There's nothing that we are doing that is wrong. There's no reason for us to act like this. You guys are being out of control. Why? Because the wicked run away when no one is chasing them, but the godly are bold as lions. When there's a moral rot in a nation, its government topples easily. How many of y'all know?" that there's a lot of issues in our government. There's a moral rot in our government. And that means our government is, we, we need people to have morals morals and morality in their lives. And more importantly, morals and morality, we need people to have God in their lives and to be following after God and to be chasing after what God has intended for us to chase, right? We need those things. A poor person who, address, who oppresses the poor is like a pounding rain that destroys the crops. Enough said. To reject the law is to praise the wicked. To obey the law is to fight them. So when we, when we obey what God has put in our hearts, when we obey what God is telling us to do, we are resisting the enemy. When we obey what God has put in our hearts, we are resisting the enemy. Better to be poor and honest 
than to be dishonest and rich. Let it better to be poor and honest than to be dishonest and rich. Better to be poor and honest than dishonest and rich. I am sorry. I just received a message, praise God. And I'm going to respond. This is happening in real time. All right. Um, young people who obey the law are wise. Those with wild friends bring shame to their parents. I remember that as I was getting older, I didn't, when I was younger, I didn't really understand why my parents didn't want me hanging around certain people. But as I got older, I was like, oh, I can't bring these people around my parents. Then it went from that to, oh, I can't hang around these people. And then I was like, oh, now I understand what my people did and what my parents didn't want me to bring around these people, right? God detests the prayers of somebody who ignores the law. We don't want to have God ignore our prayers, um, but we want uh, God to hear our prayers and answer us. Young people who obey the law are wise. Those with wild friends bring shame to their parents. Income from char charging high interest rates will end up in the pocket of someone who's counted the poor. If you're always trying to rip people off, the Bible tells us that those people that try to bless the poor are going to end up getting your riches. So don't rip people off, especially if you're not in a position to rip people off. Don't do it. Those who lead good people along an evil path will fall into a trap. If you're intentionally trying to set good people up for bad things to happen to them, God sees that. Don't do that. Live according to ways that are righteous and just and pure. Um, there was another verse I wanted to go over with y'all. Um, showing partiality is never good, yet some will do it for a mere piece of bread. Don't show partiality. Partiality means favoring one group of people over another group of people. I was talking to somebody the other day and I said, man, one of the things that God showed me is that even though I try to live pure and even though I try to live righteous, there are some types of people and some groups of people that I just don't like being around. And it's really because I, I am trying to, uh, I, I, there's, there's things in my heart or the way that I view them that makes me look down on them. And when I look down on them, I, I treat them like they're lesser than. And I said, the thing about it is these people have nothing but love and respect for me. So why would I treat somebody lesser than if they have love and respect for me, right? Now I was like, that's not good, right? If, there, if there's people that annoy you, but they've never really done anything to you, they just annoy you, right? The Bible says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. And the Bible says, if any man says that he loves God, but loves not his brother, he's a liar. So if I don't love those people and I say, I love God, time for me to evaluate and that's something God has been dealing with me as well God God has been dealing with me a lot dealing with me about a lot of things but those are something to think about the Bible says don't show partiality be honest be just be be pure in your interactions with people don't hang around people that are going to cause you to rot don't hang around people that are cause you to embarrass your parents instead live in a way that glorifies Jesus that about it. My name is Caleb. This is our, you are beautiful, wonderful made. We are on Proverbs chapter 28, 28 chapters of the book of Proverbs. We are almost done. You are fearfully wonderful made. It's time for you to go out there and change.